we're told to factor r squared plus 4r minus 45. And there are simpler ways to factor this, because this has 1 as a leading coefficient on the r squared right here. But what we're going to do is we're going to factor this by grouping. And when you factor it by grouping, what you want to do is find two numbers whose products, so the two numbers are a and b, whose product is equal to the coefficient on r squared, 1 times negative 45, which is just negative 45 and whose sum is equal to the coefficient on the first degree term is equal to 4. a plus b is equal to 4. So let's look at all of the different combinations that gets to negative 45 and see if when you add them, you ever get to 4. So let's take the combinations. Let's, take, let's look at the different a's and b's, and let's see what happens when you sum them. So I could try 1 and negative 45, but if you take their sum, that's not going to get you anywhere close to 4. Even if you swap them, negative 1 and positive 45. Let's see, if you do 3 and 15, those are way more. 3 and negative 15, or negative 3 and 15, those are way more than 4 apart. We're going to have to find numbers that are closer together. So let's see, 3, 4, 5, and 9. That looks interesting. 5 and 9 are 4 apart. And we, we, if we go with 5 and negative 9, if we go with 5 and negative 9, what's their sum? Their sum is negative 4. What happens if we go with negative 5 and positive 9? Well, then their sum is 4. So negative 5 and positive 9 works. So what we want to do here, now that we've found the numbers whose product is equal to the 1 times negative 45 and whose sum is equal to 4, let's break this 4r up into a sum of negative 5, negative, let me break it up this way, into 9r minus 5r. I broke that 4r into that using our two numbers. And then I could put the r squared out front, r squared, and then we have a minus 45. And now we're ready to group this and then factor by grouping. So let's look at this first group right here. They both have the common factor of r. So let's factor out an r. This is equal to r times r squared divided by r is r. 9r divided by r is 9. So that's that first group. And the second group right here has a common factor of negative 5. So let's factor it out. Negative minus 5. Minus 5, negative 5r divided by negative 5 is just an r. Negative 45 divided by negative 5 is a 9. And then we have an r plus 9 in both terms. r times r plus 9 negative 5 times r plus 9. So we can factor that out. So you factor an r plus 9 out, r plus 9, and you're left with you're left with r times r plus 9 divided by r plus 9 is just going to be an r. And then negative 5 times r plus 9 divided by r plus 9 is negative 5. And we're done.